Welcome back to Riding with Fire. My name is Jeremy. How's it going, everybody? So today I have picked out a wood burn that I feel confident enough to do today. I know I did talk about uh, doing a wolf. Um, I just haven't had all the time to learn different techniques of shading like fur. I'm like a wolf or a dog. Um, so I'm going to go with something like I feel a little bit more comfortable with. And I'm going to learn the process of the different styles of shading with you guys. Instead of trying to fill my head full of all of it. And uh, then feeling like I get lost. So let's go ahead and start this wood burn. As you guys see, I did sketch it out. So let me turn the machine on. I did burn this once before, so that's one of the reasons why I feel confident I can do this burn again because that one was pretty easy the first time. So this is the one I chose. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna answer some tag questions kind of give you guys an idea of a little bit about me so let's go ahead and before I get into that how was your guys' weekend how was your Christmas how was your Hanukkah whatever you uh, celebrate I hope it was a marvelous day that is hot a nice big fat bold line though, but it was hot. So, let's see. What is your favorite drink? Right now my favorite drink is eggnog. But normally I would have to say my favorite drink would be Kern's um, Strawberry Banana Nectar. Oh god, this stuff is so It's like one of my favorite, favorite things to drink. Plus, it's, it's good for you, too. Okay. Um, if I get quiet, it's because I'm concentrating. I don't want to go out of line. Plus, I'm trying to make sure I stay talking with you guys because I don't want to get quiet and... Um, yeah, you know. Uh, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is aqua, turquoise, teal, whatever you want to call that. That's my favorite color. Um, I'm from California. I was born and raised in Cali. Um, I still live in Cali. People are always like, why do you live in Cali? And I'm like, because this is where I was born. This is where all of my memories were growing up as a kid. Why would I not want to be here? Plus, this is where all my family's at. So, we moved up here when I was like five months old from L.A. I was born in L.A. And I'm very thankful that we moved here and didn't stay down there because that, ugh, ugh, I hate that town. Oh, let's see. What is your favorite animal? That's a hard one because I am a huge animal lover. Um, I'm going to tell you, I, I learned to do my outline with this ball tip. About, wow. Wow. Makes the outlining so much easier. Favorite animal... 
I'm gonna have to say I don't even know man that's a hard one I'll go back to my childhood um, my favorite animal when I was a kid was a cheetah um, my favorite animal now would probably be my dog or a horse I absolutely love dogs and horses. They are oh, so relaxing to be around. They they bring so much bright, vibrant life to you. Uh, let's see. Have I ever participated in any sports? I used to play baseball all the time. Um, after high school, I stopped playing baseball. I started playing softball. I played softball for several years with my brothers on a softball league. And... Uh, until I got hit with the softball in the backside of my arm, and that's when I quit, because I couldn't hold my bat anymore. That muscle back there just kind of said, nope, I'm not going to work no more. Even still to this day, that muscle cramps up all the time on me. Um, and it wasn't even a ball that, like, I didn't get hit by a, a ball that was being uh, hit off the bat. I was being, I got hit with a ball that was thrown out of someone's arm. And that was completely my boss's fault. Uh, back then, I was sponsored by a company that I did printing for. So I got a bunch of guys from work, friends, family, and we all got in and, and played softball. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, but I was, we were warming up on the sideline before the game, and... My little brother was throwing lasers at my boss's son because my boss's son was a hardball catcher. So my my little brother was like throwing lasers at, at him. And my boss decides he's going to try to throw a laser at me and see if I can catch it. Well, little does he know, it comes out of his hand and goes right over and hooks and goes right for his son's face. His son doesn't see it coming. I reach over and I catch the ball like this. And as I fall practically on top of his son, my brother's ball that he threw tagged me in the back of my bicep. My bicep looked like I had a soccer ball on the back of it instantly. People at the ballpark were just like, what the frick? My little brother can throw throw the ball hard. So I I want to put it past my little brother. He was throwing that ball that day like 80 90 miles an hour. And uh it was all my boss's fault because he thought he was going to be slick Rick throw me a ball that I couldn't catch. Oh, I caught it, and I, I saved his son's face. But my arm took a, a punishment from that. I ended up had to sit out of our championship game that day, which really sucked. Um, luckily for me, though, because I was running the team. I had a really good friend of mine. 
that was, uh, he was a blue out there, so he, he called the games, so, like, he was the umpire of the games, so, I asked him in the beginning of the season, I was like, hey, can I put you on my roster, and if you're not, if you're not over here umpiring, you can play on my team, and he was like, yeah, and I said, that way, if, it comes down to it, and I need somebody for championships, I can have you come play, and he was like, heck yeah, dude, put me down, and I was like, sweet, and he was, uh, like a double A ball player, like, big time ball player, he just blew it out there for fun, when he wasn't playing, so, I run over to him, and I'm like, dude, how long do you have on this game? And he's like, I got like five minutes. And then I got like a two hour break. And I was like, I need you. And he's like, why? Who's not showing up? And I said, I'm not playing. And I turned around and I showed him my arm. And he was like, oh my God, dude. Why aren't you at the hospital? I'm like, hey, I got to sit here and coach this team. I got to keep a book. Whenever I was playing, because one of the rules was when you played softball, you kept a book. On how your team scored. What runs they scored throughout the inning. When they scored it. How they scored it. All that. I kept the book. So I sat in the dugout and I kept the book the whole entire, all season long. And it came down to the game. We were up by three points. And the blue said... Oh, you guys are down by three points. And I was like, no. So I pulled out my book. And the other team started giving me lip about it. And Oh, do you have, you're keeping a book over there? Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yeah, I'm keeping a book. It's my team. What do you want me to do? So, I'm keeping a book. Little that they knew, I'm keeping a book for the score and... And all the rules, and uh, not rules, but all of the gameplay from my team and their team. So, I walked over and I showed the the blue, and he was like, "Got it. I was wrong. You're right." The other team had a conniption fit, and I was like, "If y'all knew the rules, you're supposed to keep your own books." But nobody kept their books out there except for me because that's what I like to do. I like to keep books. That was the funnest part of it all. All right. Let's see. What else is there to ask question wise? Um, what's your favorite holiday? Well, my favorite holiday used to be Christmas, but after my mom passed away several years ago, it, it kind of became one of those holidays that, it wasn't a holiday that I hated, it was just a holiday that made me miss my mom, because my mom was huge into Christmas. What are you doing, son? All right, now we're getting down to the face. Let's see if I can. Trying to concentrate. There is such little teeny tiny. Teeny teeny tiny lines in here.
All right. Let's see. Um, what else can I talk about while I try to finish this face? All right, let's see if I can bring you guys down into the business a little bit better here. So, I end up and had family show up on Christmas. Um, well, wait, no, not not Christmas. They showed up on um, Thursday night. I was actually sitting down to record this video. I was getting everything ready. And I was about ready to sit down. And I hear knock, 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 knock at my door. And I'm like, who the hell is knocking on my door? It's like 7 o'clock at night. I'm like, nobody should be here. Like, my dad would never come walking over here at this time of the night. Um, I don't think his wife would come over here at all. So, I'm like, who the heck's at the door? And Trapper's over there just like, he's sitting at the door just like, I don't know if you guys know Trapper, it's my yellow lab. So, he's sitting over there at the door, all excited, wagging his tail, and I'm just like, okay, well, evidently Trapper knows who this is. So, who the hell is at my door? So, I go to my door, and I got like seven of my freaking cousins sitting at the door and I'm like what the frick are you guys doing here we came to for Christmas we thought we would surprise you I'm like really really you thought you would surprise me come on you guys I'm like thanks I mean yeah it was definitely nice to see them. I haven't seen them in over like seven years or something like that. But. A simple text message. Phone call. Hey, we're coming. We're going to be staying the night at your house. Whatever. Stop bumping me, son. You know, like, come on, you guys. You guys got to be better than this. So, I get convinced into cooking Christmas dinner for, like, 20-something people. You betcha. I killed it. I made ham. Homemade egg noodles were bomb. I made mush. I got up Sunday morning and fried mush for everybody. If you guys don't know what mush is, you're missing out. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate here. Mush is cornmeal and water salt it's like a, a southern style breakfast all right let's see if I can kick these do these eyeballs without screwing them up All right. Well, there it is. There's our out. Oh, shit. I'm burning my little thing over here. I didn't turn it off. I thought I turned it off. I hit it into the little, the little stand that the, the hot nozzle goes into. So there's the outline of the owl, what the owl looks like. So now it is time to do some shading. 
I think I'm going to put you guys into a bit of a time lapse and do a little bit of a voiceover and talk to you guys a little bit about that or about stuff. Or I may just put a little bit of music in there and, and just have you guys sit back and, and watch a little bit of me work some magic on the shading. So I'll be back in just a jiff. I gotta grab my other shading tip. <laughs> 